um hi everyone this is arul pushpam and welcome to site course sheets so this video i am going to focus on the header section so in my site the header section is not looking good and actually it's looking good but the designs is not exact and compared to my uh, template site so i'm going to work on this section so let's start from our left side and it's the um logo section not exactly the image but it's the text um so i have to look into the design if i inspect here um here you can see the a tag and then h2 um, the same let's see my site it's also row and then row and then column and then row and then again i can see it's the div uh tag they i didn't use the h2 so let's so let's open the header in experience editor i open this and now i can see the component the first component is the link component and uh, um, okay um okay i think the css changes are no, uh, loaded in the page so why it's um not showing my component properly so actually this uh, section is not uh, this themes details are not allowing me to edit this um a uh, partial design in the experience editor so let's remove it for now once we done the changes we can do the mapping okay and then save uh, now i can easily edit the uh, comments in my experience editor view and okay let's add a scribble and then delete this and go to the scribble within the scribble we can add this one Control C and then scrib and control V and then save and then refresh. Okay, now it's coming, it looks good. Mm, okay, fine. And then let's try to add the themes now. Themes default site theme and then okay, then save. Let's check this in what you okay. The sandbox is looking good, uh, but my case I don't need to um update the static value, I have to update my um like field value. So, how should I update that? Um, I item link dot target. Let's try this. It simply not target. Let's try link. Mm -hmm. It's so I have checked the existing um, functions for uh, read the link and link text. Uh, so unfortunately, there is no existing function in the script and extension. So we have to extend the function so for that uh, we have to add one more uh, project and then we can start to add our extension so go to the solution explorer and in the foundation we have to create one more folder and extension sp.net framework and then next and then choose the path is searching and foundation and here we need to add one more folder script and extensions and select folder so let's give the name like psycho foundation dot psycho shades dot 
and then sleep and extension this looks good so first is the layer name and then project name and then our um, feature name so then create and create it's created the files and then go to open folder and then src and then foundation and then scribble and then here we need to change our folder name to code and then everything is fine so let's come to here and here uh, we can see some changes so let's remove and add the project again and right click the web config build action is in none then save yeah so everything is fine then we can start to uh, do our coding already i could see the link extension is available in the github so i am going to use the same one so uh, let's add it from here so first we have to create the cs file so let's create a folder pipeline and then add a cs file link extension class int and then copy this paste it here and the namespace Everything mm, is fine. I can see the namespace is not loaded, so we need to add our package. So, right click, manage new cat, and browse psycho.com. And yeah, I'm using 10.2, so let's install. And the next one is psychorexa.foundation. I could see this pop up, so let's click OK. I accept. So it's done. The installed. OK. And the next one is psycho.exe.foundation. It is and search it here. Action okay, install. Let's click OK and I accept. Okay, it's installed and then what's left script and dot run type okay. so let's try this Okay, so now I have installed all the required files. So let's save it. And still, I can see some issues. So let's check it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I need to add some classes. So let's fight it in the GitHub and link info.ts. So go here and then model so we need to create a more folder model uh, folder and then model and here we can add our cs file add class and then paste all the fields okay now it's good and then we have created the extension and let's add the reference here 
so now it looks so nice so let's add the app config so very first step is we have to add the pipeline and then we have to add the model and the third step is we have to add the app config and this app store we don't need that let's delete and then add a new folder app config and then include include and then foundation so let's change it to caps include foundation then we can add our then we can add our config frame so the config is a uh, new item and then config uh, okay editor config web config yeah this one so give a name like foundation dot psycho shades dot ribbon extensions extensions dot config so let's create and let's paste it there and here we have to replace our assembly name so what's our assembly name this is our assembly name the namespace is this one and go to this config and namespace here and here is our extension so the extension is foundation site code shade screen and extension pipeline dot wing extension site core shade site script and extension pipeline dot link extension so um, it looks good and let's clean it and build the solution and now we are good to move our changes into our ww root so build this started and it's completed so let's view and then terminal And then run a gun. Yeah, it's done. And go and go to app config can include and foundation. Yeah, our foundation file is updated. And let's check the bin folder. The bin folder date modified, and I can find my DLL files. So everything is updated. So let's refresh our site once. Oh, okay. So, so I can take the um, error file from my package copy folder and then bin and then what's the deal in system.memory. So go to the system. System.memory. Right. Yeah. From that, control C and then go to your site. I paste it. And then refresh. Yeah, it's loaded now. Then logging. And go to rendering variant. Mm, yeah. Then we can start to our. We can start to use our extension. So let's copy this and paste it here. Okay, I don't need this don't need this and i like to access my url and then text so copy this and paste it here and then text is this one so this one and here i need to use this url and then save and it looks fine let's check it here i can see my stand block on dot and the url also fine so let's find the url here mm. so let's find the data source here in the data folder and then links 
header blocks and then logo so let's insert a external link and give a link to um, my site project's location Control c and then Control v and then new browser and stand block okay then and then, then save and then refresh and let's check the hrf okay the hrf is looking fine and the text is also good and let's try to change the text now in uh, block sample and then save so refresh yeah it's working let's remove this we don't need that save and then refresh and i could see the designs are not affected here Mm, I think the reason is the class file is not available than this one. So let's try to add the class here. Okay, now it's looking fine. So I think we need to add our class here. And uh, we should add that. Okay, let's remove the themes. okay same okay mm, so it is okay so let's uh, create one class in the style section and uh, add a styles for header and then and yeah, now we can add the now bar insert style now bar and this this one and save and then header click on this command and then bucket and here i can find the now bar and then save and then go to experience accelerator and then theme default themes and okay and then save and then refresh my page okay now it's updated Ta -da -da. so the left side is fine now we have to work on this right side 